In this problem, we will learn about how to check if one string is a subsequence of another string. Now to deal with any problem, you must first understand what the problem asks us to do. For example, if you have a look at this question, you might be wondering what is a subsequence. So before diving into the solution, let us understand what is a subsequence. Now a subsequence is a sequence that can be derived from another sequence by deleting some elements without changing the order of the remaining elements. Now a sequence can be anything like a string. For example, if you have a look on the screen, then the word subsequence itself is a string. And now a subsequence from this given string could be sun. Now as you can see, the letters or the characters S, U and N lie within the word or within the string subsequence. So we can say that sun is a subsequence of the given string subsequence in this case. Now let us have a look at couple of other examples to have a better grip on this question. Suppose the given string is A, H, B, G, D, C. And now you have to check if ABC is a subsequence of the string AHBGDC. Now if you have a look, you'll find that A, B and C are indeed present within the given string. So we can safely say that ABC is indeed a subsequence of the given string, which is STR2. Now let's have a look at another example. In this case, str2, which is the given string, is once again ahbgdc. However, in this case, the string that you have to check or the subsequence that you have to check is a, x and c. Now, if you try to compute, then you'll find that ahbgdc does not have the character x. So, we can say that str1 is not a subsequence of str2. Also, you must remember that while deriving the subsequence, you cannot change the order of the characters. For example, ABC is a subsequence of AHBGDC. However, if you think of another subsequence, which is CA and B, that is, I'm simply changing the order. And instead of finding if ABC is a subsequence or not, now I'm going to find if CAB is a subsequence of the string AHBGDC. In that case, the output should be false. This is because even though C, A and B are a part of the given string, you cannot change the order of the characters. This means if A appears first, in the given string, then it has to appear in the subsequence in the first place and then B should appear and finally C. So this means you cannot disturb the relative positions of the remaining characters. Now I hope the question is clear to you. So without further delay, let us dive into the solution quickly and check when we are given two strings, how can we check if one string is a subsequence of the other string? Now, this is one of the fairly simple interview questions that have been asked. So to solve it, let us create a function which goes by the name is subsequence. And now we need to pass the two strings that is str1 and str2. Here str2 represents the given string while str1 represents the subsequence. Now our first task is to go ahead and find the length of str1 and str2. So we have stored the length of str1 in a variable len underscore str1 while we have stored the length of str2 in another variable which goes by the name len underscore str2. Now we will use couple of variables that will help us to store the index of each character within str1 and str2. So we are going to name them index underscore str1 and index underscore str2. And we are also initializing them with the value 0, which means we are starting with the first index in each string. Now it's time to define a while loop which will iterate until 
index underscore str1 is less than len underscore str1 and index underscore str2 is less than len underscore str2. Now this condition or the first condition will help us to come out of the loop immediately after the match was found while the second condition helps us to iterate through all the characters present in the given string which is str2. Now we move inside our while loop and then we check if the first character in str1 is equal to the first character of str2. If this is true then we move inside the if statement and we increment the value of index underscore str1 by 1 and then before proceeding to the next iteration we also have to increment the value of index underscore str2 by 1. Now that's it just a quick recap we have to increment the value of index underscore str1 by 1 when there is a match and we also have to increment the value of index underscore str2 by 1 at the end of every iteration. And now once we are done with the while loop if the value stored by index underscore str1 is equal to value stored in len underscore str1 that means we found the subsequence within the given string. Thus we simply need to return this statement. Now finally let us define a few variables and pass in the values to check if the code works for us. So here x represents the subsequence which will be passed into str1 while y represents the given string which will be passed into str2 and finally we print the output returned by the function is subsequence by passing the values of x and y respectively. That's it. We are done with our code. Now let's go ahead and check if this works. And there we go. The output is true. This is because abc is indeed a subsequence of the string ahbgdc. Now let us try something different. Let us see if axc is a subsequence of ahbgdc. Let's execute our code and this time the output is false. Let's take another example. Now let us change the order of the characters. Let's say a, c and b. And now let's check what's the output. From what we learned previously this should be false because even though a, c, b are present in y However, we have changed the order and when you find a subsequence, you cannot disturb the order of the remaining characters. So let's go ahead and execute this and there we go. So as expected, the output is false. With that, we have successfully solved our first problem and we are good to move on to the next problem and strengthen our programming skills.